this is so good. It's go time, baby. It's go time, baby. Let me explain to you what I did. Yeah. With the nine sheets that we have, I had quite a bit, not as much information as I really need to give you guys a solid number. Right. A solid like to the penny right here. Sure, yeah. Because I don't have mp &E, I I don't have mechanical, plumbing, and electrical engineering. I don't have structural engineering. I don't have any of that. But I have enough. You have some allowances that you kind of know what to work off of. Absolutely. And that's what I did. Now, I set your plans out electronically to a lot of the guys. Just a lot of things yeah. that we went back and forth on. So I tried to get as detailed as I possibly could. And I will tell you, I spent the last 48 hours just trying to nail down on some of the steel that you have, the exterior surfaces, the exterior surface upstairs, downstairs, interior surfaces, finishes, trying to get, not cutting you short, but trying to give you guys allowances Big that allowance. I know are gonna be yeah. realistic. Okay. I give you allowance for your appliances between 25 and $30,000. Cool, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Bath accessories. What is your ideal? What is your ideal oh. experience? We we get so much of this done. I'll, I'll speak first. We get so much of this done that I I go up into Sedona in 18 months and there's a house. <laughs> and this is this is amazing because this is definitely not what we had with this house. This is uh, the opposite of what we had with this house. We had somebody that said, "I'll build you a house. It's this price per square foot. Um, here's your allowances." And the allowances were bullshit allowances. There, but, but we never had an idea of what they were going to be. We just knew they were going to. We were going to spend more on cabinets, more on floors, more on everything, basically. And every line item you had on here, except for like anything that deals with the construction of the house, what the real construction of the house, we spent more on the windows, the cabinets, the counters, the floors, the little stalls in the bathroom, the backsplashes, the sinks, the bathtubs, the, everything, right? Because there was there wasn't enough allowance, right? So. That didn't allow me to have any peace of mind through the whole process because I had to always be involved with change orders and picking new stuff out. So this one now is like, I want to know that we've budgeted what we're going to spend, which feels like it's the right on. But then the second thing is work with the designer and have everything picked out. So like the house can just be built without us being involved, right? Yeah. Because it's a job being involved in building a house. I mean, it is a full-time job. If you are trying or wanting to be any part of a general contractor in your house, it's a full-time job. Yeah. So, it is. Yeah. Decisions you gotta make. Well, that that's good because that's what I want to deliver to you guys, and that's what I'm gonna deliver to you. We're gonna make up our mind. We all have a responsibility. You guys have a responsibility to pick out your finishes. I have a responsibility to make sure that I communicate with you, the designer, the architect, and I will guarantee you. This will be the best experience that you guys will ever have building a home because you're not, you don't have to be hands-on. You won't have to babysit me. You'll get recaps on a daily basis. You know exactly where you're at. You get a recap on the cost. You know exactly where they're coming in. Uh, I'm, I'm, I get chills thinking about it <laughs> because I know what I can do. I know what we can do. And I don't want you, I want you guys to say, okay, here's our, here's what we've selected. Go to work, Jim, get it done. Yeah. Well, and the free flowing communication too, I would say like you nailed it. And I don't ever feel like we have to worry about that with you <laughs> because with this build. Are you saying Jim overly communicates? No, things? I'm saying he's fantastic at explaining things and how he broke it down. Cause with this house, I felt like we were going into it blindsided. We didn't have anything like this and we didn't, yeah. there was definitely no organization, no like free flow communication. We would show up and it would be a totally different supervisor that we didn't see before. And then we would find out that the other guy got fired and it was just like, you yeah. know, just certain things like that. So. Right, yeah. The comfort of knowing that we were going to have that strong communication with someone that I feel confident. Yeah. 